so hi all this is sachin uh, sachin misi so welcome back to my youtube channel sach bim uh, yeah this is the second video of the uh, related family creation so i i hope you understand the uh, what i what are the things we discuss on the first video so yeah in the second video what we are planning is covering the form tools i mean extrusion blend revolve swept uh, and sweep and voids so first thing is uh, first thing is regarding uh, the extrusion so yeah extrusion is nothing but uh, we have two inputs one is boundary profile and depth so the profile this is a profile and this is a depth so we can start the uh, tool so first we need to go to create tab just click extrusion here so you will find like some draw tools that is used for creating the boundary lines so what are the shape you want you can create i mean a hexagon or hexagon or a, what are the things you, you need to create that you can uh, model by using the uh, draw tools so right now i am just creating one rectangle so you can see the rectangle over here in the reference level so next input is uh, as i said it's a depth so either i can put the depth here or else i can uh, enter the start and end. if it is a 50 to 250 means the depth will be 200 so that i can assign here and click ok so so that you will get one uh, one model model like this so this is what we model so this is a profile which we created and extrude with the length what we mentioned so this is extruding so extrusion is nothing but it's a straight line process so what are the procession you what are the profile you are generating over a particular view it will uh, it will extrude i mean it will be extruded in a straight straight line manner so you can see so the depth we can assign here by using start and end or else you can directly enter here so this is what the extrusion i hope you understand so next thing is blend so blend blend is nothing but it's similar to the extrusion but it is having the two profile i mean top and bottom so for example uh, you can see in that pdf the base is something a bigger rectangle and top is something like a small rectangle so in addition to the input of extrusion we are adding one more thing that is base boundary profile and next is the top boundary profile and as usual depth so we can try that thing also so go with the blend tool so you can see uh, create blend base boundary so this is something like base boundary so right now i am entering a circle here and click on the edit top that is the next next, next input edit top so here i am uh, entering a small rectangle like this so what i inputted is the base boundary is a circle and top is top boundary is a small rectangle so next input is the depth depth is something like similar to the extrusion so right now i am keeping it at a 250 only oh so no i am just inputting as a thousand here and click ok so that you can get a model like this so base is a circle and top is a small rectangle and distance is you can see thousand so i will annotate it and i will show this is thousand depth in model so the inputs are clear i guess the base top and depth and I am again repeating for the extrusion. Yeah, it is having two input boundary and boundary profile and depth. And coming to the blend, we have one more thing that is base boundary and top boundary and depth. So that is known as blend tool. So next is I am going with uh, sweep. So sweep is similar to extrusion. So then put you can see the boundary profile. So we have the same boundary profile, but instead of depth, uh, we are we are giving the path. I mean, which path we need to do? So here you can see this is the profile and this is a path. So I can assign the path, which or path I need to extrude. So coming to here, the path is straight line only. This is the path but in the case of sweep we can create the uh, we can define the path that is the main advantage by using the sweep so we can continue with sweep here uh, so the input 
so create and sweep so the first input is create sketch path so i am inputting the path i am defining the path so i am just using the r2 i am defining the path like this so this is a path i am entered and click here and next input is the profile so right now select profile and edit profile so one pop up will come uh, come in the which view it is more uh, suitable for uh, drafting the that view so right now i am going with 3d view so in that 3d view i can see the reference plane like a vertical and horizontal so here i can i can model i can draw the boundary so right now uh, i am drawing one t junction So one T junction I am creating and click and again one click. So right now this is a pro boundary. So this is a boundary profile that I model and this is a path I defined. So I am clicking tick. So you can see the thing like what I model. Okay, this is not a sweep. And next is a swap event. Swap event is same as sweep, but it is having two profile this is a primary profile and this is secondary profile so two profile we can give as a input as well as the path so we will try that also create a uh, swap blend so sketch path so sketch path i am defining the path like this tick so I am getting two points. One is the primary profile and this is the secondary profile. So select profile one. That is primary profile. Edit profile. Uh, yeah, 3D view is fine. So in the 3D view, I am creating a circle here. Circle here. Tick and profile. Select profile two. Edit profile. So here select profile to edit profile here i am uh, use, i am creating the profile i mean boundary profile by using the draw tools uh, right now i am uh, drawing one small rectangle tick okay so you can see the thing i have modeled so this is a path and this is the primary profile and this is the secondary profile so i am getting like this is what i got uh, from circle to one rectangle and next the remaining last thing is last thing is the revolve so revolve also having the two input of boundary line and axis of rotator so right now you can see the revolve thing so so this is the boundary which i defined and this is the axis of rotation so this profile will rotate and will model the uh, thing so i will show you that also so create uh, revolve so boundary line create the boundary so uh, right now i'm creating one so this is the boundary i defined and next input is axis of rotation so axis of rotation also i am giving as here so this is the boundary and this is the axis of rotation when i click you can see this is revolved so anything regarding circular thing you can model by using revolve so these are the uh, tools we are used to model a solid object in the family creation extrusion plan swap revolve and set plan so i hope you understand the uh, things uh, i will once again i will make a overview so first thing is extrusion extrusion having uh, two it uh, two inputs one is boundary profile and this is the uh, depth and a blend comes we have three inputs base top depth coming to the sweep we have the instead of depth it is replaced with the path and here also we have uh, profile one and profile two and path and the last is a revolve so here i have the boundary profile and x rotation so this is what uh, the solid tools we are using for create modeling the 
family so we can go to the our submitter we can open the submitter which we have 